on every single time I used to see or hear these artists bragging, bragging and shit like that. I always used to be like, oh my God, like, be fucking humble. Shit could be taken away from you any minute. But you guys, the audience, now I understand why. Because you motherfuckers unhumble people. Now, I don't know if that's a word because I know I make my own motherfucking words up. Y'all really strip people off their humbleness. Like, it's like... Y'all constantly tell people they whack. Y'all constantly tell people the amount of time y'all think y'all gonna they gonna have in the industry. Y'all constantly tell people that they ain't shit and they ain't never gonna feel like shit. They ain't never gonna be shit. So it's like, all right, so I got to remind you where I am at the billboards. I got to remind you how much I make off sales. I got to remind you. I have to remind you what I can afford. I have to remind you that look how much I spend on this and look how much I spend on that. So I could remind you that you're the one that ain't shit you have to you guys have a the ultimate power on people and it's just hey y'all so when i was young i didn't know how to take care of my hair you know i was dying my hair i permed it when i was like 13 all my hair came off and uh now that i'm a woman i know how to take care of my hair and it's and i love the experience and i love how thick and full my hair is um but lately i'm not even gonna front like constantly using these wigs constantly using these lace glues and shit and my hair been getting a little damaged so you know hair affinity been around for a hot minute hair affinity and um i decided to try it um i cannot always put the oil on my hair and i love the oil but i could always take the pills and i've been taking the the pills twice a day and i'm just so excited to see the process like my hair got a little thin even though i got a beautiful ass afro bitch but you know it got a little thin i don't like that shit and i'm just gonna show you how thicker it's getting and i'm excited to see i'm excited to see popping y'all you know i hate when a bitch that i don't like always want to be on some i don't know why you so worried about me what you mean why am i worried about you no, you know why I'm worried about you? Because I know you're worrying about me. And I know how people get when they worry about somebody. They on some defense mode. They on some, oh, I can't with this bitch. I got I to gotta get her out of here. So since you're worried about me, I got to worry about what you be doing. I got to worry about the type of shit you got on your mental. I got to worry about what the type of shit, the malicious shit you trying to do to me. So yes, I'm going to be on your ass, bitch. Yeah, I'm worrying about you, bitch, because I'll be damned if you fucking have a one-up on me. I be damn you trying to get me out of here. The fuck? Every bitch that you be for always want to be like, I don't know why you so worried about me. I don't know. Hey, bitch, I know. You know why I'm worried. Because you worried about me. And I know when I worried about something, 